All right, I'm Dave Bratt, and um, in this video, I'm going to go over the specifications and do a quick look at each of the uh, various uh, six in-ear sets that I'll be testing in the upcoming videos and uh, talk about the test unit that I'll be using, the Audix TM2 and the Sound Bullet um, as well. So let's get started. Uh, I'm going to start with the Future Sonics. Um, these in-ears um, I've had for a while. These are the MG6 Pro. It's a, a single 13 millimeter speaker. It's a little round speaker in there, voice coils, it's a tiny little headphone speaker. And um, it's rated, these are rated from 18 to 20K. The 32 ohms um, impedance on their rating, they're $1,025. They've got a little two pin uh, gold connector here that can be plugged in to the little and to the unit to unplug and swap the cable out. Because of the speaker, there's a front and a back to a speaker. It's got these um, sometimes a, these they have a little um, silicon plug with a little hole in it. And you can change these to different versions and get different low frequency responses. Uh, but also, since it has a hole in it, you get a bit of ambient sound coming in the hole. So it's a little different than some of the fully sealed versions, which use an armature, which is like a little machine type speaker uh, rather than a round diaphragm type speaker. Uh, the cable on this is uh, two, lit, two uh, wires braided, uh, twisted together, Litz wires twisted together, and um, for each the left and the right. And um, that then bonds to get into this connect, um, connector unit. Um, and then that goes into a three wire system that is twisted together and then comes all the way down to the uh, three conductor mini plug. Um, the wires on these are quite different. And um, I've actually done some testing on wires and found some interesting uh, aspects. So maybe I'll try and do that as well. Um, the difference between using three wires or four wires to drive, using a common ground that goes to both sides and then a plus for each side versus using two wires going to each side. Uh, there is a way to measure a difference and see that what that does. All right, so the next one in the adventure here is a Stealth Sonics. These are interesting, they've got both armatures and a speaker in there. So a little round speaker and you might even be able to see that. It's a, it's a little white thing right there and then there's armatures in there. Uh, so it's a hybrid um, uh, monitor and uh, so it can offer some of the advantages of both or the combination of both. So that'll be real interesting to see how that specs out using uh, the test gear. Uh, the wiring on this is it's got a, a silicon cover, it's got a stopper on the cover, and then it's got a more tightly twisted pair of Litz wires for the left, pair for the right, and then a little silicon joiner. Um, and the JH Audios had a slide on it that slid together, and this has got a little joiner piece, a little different way of doing it. And then that comes down into a... Uh, Basically, two wires are twisted together, and then those two wires are then twisted together. So there's four wires forming kind of a, a, a thick, fast twist coming into a plastic or a molded connector here. And uh, oh, a little Stelsonics logo right there. The Stelsonics are, um, this is the C9 Pro. It's molded, it's nine driver hybrid, one um, speaker and eight uh, armatures and uh, it's rated it from 20 to 20K. Uh, I couldn't find an impedance on it, and it's uh, $14.99 is what its list price is. Um, next up, we've got the Audix, and uh, we'll take a look at these. These are the A10s, and um, it's a 10 millimeter driver. There's a little speaker in there. It's 18 hertz to 19 kilohertz as it's rated at, and it says 105 dB, but it doesn't give a power at one milliwatt or whatever the, to get there. Um, and it's got a more rigid bendy bit to go around instead of a soft silicon, but these are also um, generics and not molded like the other ones were molds that I got from various tours. It's got a slip, um, silicon slip to um, tighten around. 
and it's got a jacket over the twisted pair of Litz wires, a little bit thinner, and um, there's the joiner, and then the Litz wires. I can't tell four or three are in there um, because it's jacketed with an overall jacket, and it comes down to a molded um, three conductor uh, mini plug end. Uh, next in the adventure, let's take a look at the ultimate ears. These are UE18 Plus. Um, these are it's a molded set. This is a six driver, four way system. Uh, it's rated at 119 dB, one milliwatt, and um, at one milliwatt, and it's rated from five hertz to 22 kilohertz. Uh, 37.5 ohms impedance. And they list out list price at fourteen ninety nine. Um, the Audix, I didn't look. At, I'm gonna sorry for jumping back. The Audix have a cool little connector that pops off here, a little coax connector to replace the cable. That's um, really nice, different than the little two conductor cable that was on the um, uh, Stell Sonics and the Future Sonics. Um, this has also got a two conductor gold pin cable, slightly different the way they. Um, create the waterproofing and, um, you know, the jacket around it. Uh, but they're nice and snug. Uh, this has got uh, two wires. They're black, and there's two wires twisted together. Uh, and then they hit, there's a little slider tube to tighten it up. And um, a slider tube stop, I guess. And this does not have a, um, a joiner piece. All the others had a little molded piece here. These two wires just go into, uh, um, they just get rebraided together into a larger braid that goes right down. So that's kind of slick. There's not the um, extra added bit there and to the three pin mini plug. Um, UEs, we covered that, 37.5 ohms. Next we've got the, come on. Uh, these are the JH Audio Roxans. Um, skin color molded. These are available in multiple colors, as all most of these are, especially the molded ones. Um, let's see what do we got specs on that. I show it's a 12 driver system. They're armatures, like the Ultimate Ears were armatures as well. I show response at 10 hertz to 23 kilohertz, 119 dB one at one milliwatt. And um, this has got an interesting connector. It actually unscrews. And when you unscrew it, there's four little pins in there and four receptacles. So it's a four conductor cable instead of just two. And um, if you look at the wire here, there's actually four Litz wires going to it instead of just two. And it's definitely a thicker uh, amount of wire going to it. That then goes to the joiner. Here's our little silicon slip to tighten it up around the back of our neck, and then it hits the joiner unit. And then that bundles into kind of a fairly meaty um, braid that comes all the way through, and that hits a little box. This little box is a, they call it a plus 15 base boost. But I think what we'll find out, since there's no electronics in there, that actually when it's boosted all the way up, that is straight through, or that's the response, it's actually a 15 dB base cut, um, and the level will drop when we um, uh, drop it down. So up all the way would be not cut. Um, semantics, but um, interesting. And it's got a pretty uh, heavy metal gold-plated uh, mini plug on the end um, with a fairly nice strain relief. Um, and we talked about the, it's a 15 ohm, and it retails for $1,599. Let's go ahead and look at the last ones. These are the L Acoustics. Now these are generics, not molded. Um, and so they've got little foam replaceable bits on the end. Uh, these are just loaned to me recently to check out. Uh, They've got an interesting connector when you pull it off here. Let's see if I can do. There we go. Uh, there's actually a lot of pins in there, like six or eight wires, um, very tiny little um, connections. And it's a real high quality connector. So um, they've chosen to not go from two wires to Jerry Harvey's, to JH Audio's four, 
And then there's six or eight. I can't even see it without glasses how many is there, are, there are in there. Um, it's a pretty hefty little unit there. Uh, this comes into a braid, which is actually a twisted pair that's then twisted into another pair. So there's four wires coming off of um, each of the ends. Um, there's a flexible, somewhat bendable silicon thing there. Here's our silicon slide to tighten up, hitting the joiner, molded joiner unit. And then it hits a really interesting, this is very round um, and is fairly beefy. Uh, cable, which I guess is the eight wires. It actually reminds me of like being at camp and doing that thing with the little plastic wire. I don't know, you'd fold them over and make like boxes and snakes and uh, with this, I don't know, stuff, arts and craftsy thing. Uh, this again hits another little box, this plus 15 base boost, which I'm reasonably confident we'll find out is actually a, they build them with a preloaded base. Um, extra low end and this gives you the ability to trim the base out to a flat response or something like that. And then instead of a heavy gold, it's actually got a lighter weight molded plug on the end. Um, all right, so those are the L acoustics. I'm excited to test and listen to. I've done some pre preliminary listening and um, I think we're going to have some fun with it. Um, Oh, sound bullet. We'll use this for pink noise tests. This thing's cool. Um, it has a pink noise generator in it and a little speaker. Oh, the little tone and a speak noise generator, volume mob, and um, you can listen to, we can drive, we can plug the ears directly into this mini plug out and generate pink noise from it. And we can also have the pink noise come out the XLR such that, um, we can have two sources and the pink and we can run that into smart and um, we'll be able to uh, it'll come in handy for testing and finally the audix tm2 which we'll be using for the testing which is a machined aluminum xlr uh, male output phantom power microphone in a housing and um, then there's these adapters that come with it. So you've got an adapter here, like if I can get out of here. Um, and this one is kind of just ba basically like your ear. So you would screw this on and then I'll grab the little Audix ear here. And then you would just take and plug in your in-ear to it and the output of the in-ear sound. Oops, I got stuck in there. The output of the in-ear sound would go into the microphone and then the output of the microphone would run into our smart our oscilloscope and uh, or into an amp and a speaker and we can actually listen to this and into a recording device and I'll be able to uh, put that audio up on YouTube for you and you'll be able to hear the difference between the various in-ear sets. Um, additionally they've got some other bits here um, with foam inside of them that have various size openings very small medium and large and here you would basically take your molded in ear and just kind of wedge it into the foam there. And I don't have the right size foam for this one in there right now, but um, wedge it into the foam and it would just stay there. And um, the output of the in ear would then be able to be measured. Um, this thing will come in handy um, for if you have a bunch of in ears, you want to make sure they all work properly to see if any of them are blown or there's wax or water or something, but check the response, hook up smart to one of these or an analyzer and just grab all your ears, plug them all in to, you know, some like a pink noise generator and then boom, 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 boom. You can whip through a whole pile of in-ears and make sure they're all uh, working well or troubleshoot why the band um, threw something at you at the last gig. Um, and I think that's about it. Um, so those are the toys that we're going to be playing with, add in scope, speaker, um, popper, and I don't really know what's going to come out of all this. Uh, I've done a little bit of testing and found some fun stuff. Um, and I'll do a series of videos and I'll keep going until I run out of something fun to say. Cool, cool. Awesome. So thank you for hanging out and I hope you found this video and others that I do interesting and informative. And 
check out soundtools.com. Take a look at the products that I personally designed, some solutions for the pro audio industry, uh, analog over Cat5, a bunch of testers, um, and other useful tools. Um, ratsound.com has got our sales department, rental department, install department. Uh, we sell a wide variety of pro audio and AV gear. We do installations, small to large, and we do rentals for everything as small as local clubs and backyard parties all the way up to Coachella Festival and artists like Pearl Jam, Jack Johnson, Blink-182. And thanks for hanging out.